He plates up the terrine, followed by a blanched baby leek and prune puree. Can I have a pair of hands, please, Chef Holland, just like a good old days, you helping me the way it should be? <laughs> Lovely, that. Very clean. It's clean, simple, effective. You haven't left a cling film around the edge of the terrine, have you? I hope not. <laughs> Very pretty. I think it's even prettier than before. Yes. Do you like it, Richard? Uh, it looks fantastic. Doesn't it look pretty? Yeah. Really, really looks good. But the chicken the, the is pretty good flavour. I don't like this prune dressing. I, uh, you don't? No. I get an extraordinary sort of onion flavour from the leek. Mm. But it's too strong. To be honest with you, it's extremely beautiful to look at, but I do think it's more about art than about heart. The meat, it's a little bit dry. Mm. It I, bit but it, it's, it's all looking great. I mean, I'm, I must say. I it. absolutely agree, Richard. I thought if we could just have had a bit of a vinaigrette on top of it, just it needs a little bit. Well, it becomes more and more and more French and less and less and less Scottish or British. Kokaliki is very moist because it's a soup. So all I'm asking oh. for is some sort of liquid. I, I think it's too dull. I think it's. Uh, it's a nice idea. I think it's sort of poorly executed, if you want me to be honest. Dull, dull I think, is a strong word. Dull Oliver. is a strong word. Dull, come on. Dull is a strong come word. On. That's a beautiful crafted terrine. Like There's some ways to enhance it. The main bit. thing would be to tone down on the leeks, to just use the very um, pale inside, which tastes less strong. So well, this, is it. this comes back to my about point about, about art, because what he needs, he needs the green in there for visual effect, does it? Do not be too hard on this guy. I mean, that was a beautifully put together tureen that needed a little bit of dressing and a proper bit of salt on the top of it, served a little bit more room temperature. This is the final, and it has to be amazing. Honestly, I, any little sort of thing, tweaking, should have been done before now. You've got to be more ruthless. The flavour's really nice, seasoning's really good. A bit more puree for me, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say that. Mm. Prunes work really well with it. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah, agree yeah. what you're saying, mm. just a bit more pu mm. prune puree on there. Do you think a bit more room temperature? Mm. Just a bit more, really yeah. nice. Mm. Still quite firm, isn't it? Legs are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I think overall this is a, a really good dish. Simplicity, you know, sometimes less is more. Definitely content in my eyes. But do the judges agree? It's time for the scores. You know what? Alan Murchison's Kokaliki, I thought, was one of the most beautiful, pretty plates that has sat before us. But I just think that the chicken was a little bit dry and the prunes and the leeks were a bit overwhelming. And for that reason, I'm giving it a seven. Unfortunately, the chicken was a little bit underwhelming in flavour. The leek was a little bit undercooked. So in that case, it's a six. I think he's misfired because I, I, I don't think I'm not getting a great sense out of the, out of the chicken. I know I can tell that the chicken is very high quality, but he hasn't venerated it in this dish. It's a six. This dish was a feast for the eye and not for the taste buds. So for that reason, it's a six.